here. Thank you for joining me. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about composing solos and how organizing your ideas in a thought out way can actually really improve your improvising. I'm going to teach you a solo over a jazz blues that I composed, and we'll talk about how an exercise like this can actually help you build vocabulary and string together lines when you're improvising. So I played the solo at full speed at the beginning of the video. Here it is slowed down a little bit. This solo is over a jazz blues progression in the key of C. If you're unfamiliar with this type of chord progression, check out the video I did all about playing a jazz blues. I'll put the link down in the description. So this solo is just a series of licks strung together, and each lick outlines a different part of the chord progression. Now some of these licks are standard blues phrases, and some of them stem from arpeggio and scale patterns that I've mapped out and practiced. The solo starts with a pretty stock major pentatonic blues lick over the C chord. All right, so right out of the major pentatonic scale. Then in measure two, we go to the F7 chord and I play out of an F7 arpeggio and then lead back to the C major pentatonic scale. Right, so all of that comes from knowing the C major pentatonic scale in this position and the F7 arpeggio shape in the same spot. Now that I know that, I can take this concept and spread it all over the fretboard. So what if I want to play something out of this C major pentatonic position? Well, then I need to know this F7 uh, arpeggio. So then I can come up with a line using that material, something like... Uh, right, so by taking the time to compose a line like that and practice it, it now becomes a part of my vocabulary that I can use when improvising to outline those two chords. The next part of this solo outlines a 2-5-1 to get to the four chords. So G minor 7 to C altered, then resolving to F7, the four chord. And to outline these chords, I just start by playing right out of a G minor 7 arpeggio. And then I play out of the C altered scale resolve down to the third of the F7 chord, so. Right, and in order to compose a line like that, I have to know my G minor 7 arpeggio in this position, and my C altered scale in the same position. Right, so now that I have that, I can take that idea and move it around the fretboard. So let's move it down here. It's the same exact idea, but now I'm playing out of this G minor to this C altered and then resolving down to this F7 chord. So now I can tie that in with the other ideas I was playing before, right? So. Right, so now this idea has become a part of my vocabulary that I can t tie together with other ideas to create totally new solos. Right, it's the exact same way we use words and phrases when we're speaking to make new statements, okay? When we're improvising, we're usually not making up new words, but just stringing together our existing vocabulary in different ways to express what we're trying to say. The same way you would in a conversation. 
So composing these solos is a great way to come up with that new vocabulary. Okay, so the next part of the solo goes to the sharp four diminished chord, and then back to the one chord. And here I play right out of an F sharp diminished seventh arpeggio. Right. And then uh, resolve it into the C major pentatonic scale, right? So I've got to know my F sharp diminished arpeggio. Right, and then how to connect that to a C major pentatonic. Right, and again, I can move this idea around. Right, I could play that down here. So if I'm playing my uh, other solo that I was kind of playing before, I can do... Uh, something like that. So again, taking these concepts and connecting them in new ways and taking the time uh, to work these things out and practice them so that these new ideas become ingrained in your playing and become part of your vocabulary. So the final part of this solo happens over the six, two, five, one part of the chord progression and then the uh, quick six, two, five, one in the turnaround. And so I basically outline all these chords using chord tones, but I use this little trick over the functioning dominant chords where I build a diminished seventh arpeggio off the third of the chord. So our first chord of the six, two, five, one is A7, right? So I'm seeing this A7 voicing and I know my A7 arpeggio. And I know the third of the chord is right there. And then I can build a diminished seventh arpeggio by just going up in minor thirds. Right, so. So there's my first part uh, of this section going from A7 to D minor. There's where it goes to D minor and I'm landing right on the minor third chord tones that outline the sound of the new chord. And then as we move down to G7, going to C7, I do kind of the same thing over the G7. And resolving up to the third of C7. So the whole thing is... together. And here's where we go to the quick 6251 and I go up to the root of my A7 and then I kind of do a similar thing over the 2 to the 5 chord and then over the, uh, the 5 chord, the G7, I come down uh, with the altered scale. Resolve to the fifth of C7. Right, so again, I can take those kind of concepts and I can move them around, right? I could play um, that A7 um, with the diminished over top right here. together in different ways. Seeing these chords. And knowing the arpeggios uh, in each position and knowing the chord tones and knowing the different scales that I wanna draw from to create these lines. Okay, so now I'm gonna play a little bit over the backing track. I'll play our original solo from the beginning of this lesson 
then I'll play this new solo that we sort of composed as we went along. Um, and then I'll improvise a little bit and just show you how I'll take some of these concepts and tie them together with different ideas and how you can take um, these ideas that you compose, these pathways to get through the chords, and you can tie them together with other vocabulary because they just become a part of the way you express yourself on the instrument. <music> join me on patreon check out my true fire course please leave a comment send me a message let me know what you think about these videos as always thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will catch you next time take care <laughs>